Okay, so now we're gonna go through some of the, like, the standout uh, sneakers in my collection, at least, things that, you know, stand out to me. So let's get right into it, starting with uh, the very first SB I picked up, the uh, De La Highs. Um, I did get these around when they released. Uh, I got them online, though, so um, I wasn't able to pick them up at a store for retail, but I paid 200 at the time, which, you know, now these things go for much more than that, so uh, definitely a nice little come-up price right there. Uh, Shoutouts to Jeff from Riff. Uh, these are not the OG, I still need them, so if anyone has the OG Blacksmith threes in like a six or six and a half, seven, let me know. But these are the first retro from the 90s, I want to say 91, 93, I'm actually not too sure. But that's them. Um, yeah, shout out to Jeff, man. They were actually just on display at Rift. They weren't even like really for sale, but he knew I wanted them, and they're my size, so he went ahead and uh, passed them on to me. And they still have like the original paper on the inside, everything. So these things. Shout out to Brooklyn Projects on these. These are the what the dunks, and actually the way it's displayed because each side is different. These are like my absolute favorite sides of each shoe. Uh, when these released. Um, the day before P-Rod wore them at like a movie um, release in in Hollywood and then the next day they just released. No one even knew anything about these things and uh, it was actually uh, like the first week I was on ISS and someone had posted that the Broken Projects was going to release them at 5 in the afternoon. It was 4.30. I live like 40 minutes away from LA with traffic. So I jumped in the car. Like literally I was hanging out with my friends and me and my other friend we just left my friends. We were like you guys can leave my house whenever. Feel free. The door just lock it on your way out and we rushed over there there's eight people in line and I got my whip dunks this pack right here the gentleman pack uh, shout outs to John SB uh, this pack was actually the pack where from this point on every month I'd go to the store and pick up new SBs like this was the uh, I guess the defining pack that really got me into the point where I the mindset where I said I want to collect SBs just all the different themes and everything like that so this pack is really special to me. Uh, the Trickstar is what I was going to pull out, but the BMX pack. Uh, Brooklyn Projects released these, um, this pack like a month or so before everyone else got them. And you know, it was, an, uh, once again, shout out to John, another one of the, the things that he worked on. And so it's crazy because that pack was actually my first SB video. So just all these like intertwined things are pretty cool. Um, these are the Paris Dunks. Uh, only released in Paris. These are actually B grades, so you know someone was fortunate enough to pick these up at the outlets for 60 bucks. I think it said on the, the box. We all know what these go for, thousands and thousands of dollars now. So um, yeah, that's them. The uh, pretty much almost unheard of or like never existing Iron Maidens. Uh, anyone who knows the story behind these, uh, these never released and uh, probably shouldn't have even been made. Um, but they were made, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on them, and that clear swoosh is just crazy. Uh, some Air Mags, um, you know, they did the whole uh, charity auction for Parkinson's disease, the Michael J. Fox Foundation, and um, these things are, are crazy. They're actually not charged right now, but if they were charged, you can push the little button on the inside, and all these uh, light up and everything like that. So I already showed you one version of the Black Cement 3, but these are... Um, even crazier. These are the Oregon Pit Crew. I love how the Blacksmith 3 is the base, but they just went and did all this crazy stuff with the Blacksmith 3. Green stitching, which I actually didn't even know until I owned the shoe. You got your yellow eyelids instead of red. The big O right there. The crazy duck feet on the back. Love these shoes. And lastly, my first beast boat. Um, these are Pikachu inspired. Uh, you got the little red eyelids for his cheeks. Little black kit on the back for the back of his tail. Um, brown on the back for his uh, brown stripes on his back. I added pink suede on the inside, and man, suede inside the shoes is extra comfortable. I think Nike should definitely do that. I also added um, the interior lining of a Nike sweater. Ooh, these, it's like putting socks on. These things are super comfortable, and I love the colorway. And yeah, so that's just some of my highlights, and uh, thanks for watching.